Good morning, good evening, and good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Morph Shuffle, and this is Morph Side. This is the Baden Voyage. This is everything we need. We do have the Sea Moth with us. We have all of our homely possessions that we may need. Everything basically from that base is now been transferred over here into the correct ones. We've got aquariums as well, so we can have um, everything we need, really. But the Sea Moth is there, just chilling. So it's great. So what we've got to remember is to close all the hatches it will take on water if we're not careful it's just good practice just to make sure that everything's closed so close that one and then we can move so to go lower it should be C there we go no let's see what am I doing Oh, I'm hitting things. That's great. So this is literally a mobile base. Which is good. Come on. And we can go quite low. Oh, God. If I, if I hit everything along the way, we might not be able to go low. There's a reef back there. What I really want to do is find out where the aurora is because we really are going to head towards there. <laughs> so the aurora's there. We're going to go towards the aurora. could nip out here and get some food. I feel as though I should nip out here and get some food, otherwise we're going to be real in the crap. Um, so I need some. Uh, I need some copper as well to make those batteries. Grab that one. Use of the propulsion. Okay, uh That's good enough for me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Still don't know what these do. Like, I really don't know what they do, and it's co it's confusing to me. Um, burn there. Stick what fish we can in here, which I think we're actually going to fill it up. Oh, no, we're one off. That's fine. So I can always take one of those out, fry it. Boom, and there's food. And water. When it comes to water, we are... We're fine for now. <laughs> we are fine on the waterfront. Just have some of that. Nom, 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 nom. Close that. you has got more viewing space compared to the um, Seamoth. Fragment there. Let's go see what that fragment is. We need a fragment in our lives. Uh, yep, that's fine, thank you. Open that door, back up. Probably one I've already got, knowing my luck. It is. How about since we're here? Any more on the way back to the ship? 
Nope, but now it's night time, which is my worst time to bloody pilot the any any former ship. I hate swimming in the bloody 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 thing. Yeah. Deployables? No, I don't want any deployables. I don't want any of those. I want, I want sustenance. I want some food because we're going to slowly die otherwise. Okay, so. Eat. Are we ready for this? It's just annoying that I don't have, um. Like a radar or anything like that. That's a result. Turn around. Go lower. And there's what I want. That's something we're going to need. We're going to need to go into that. Because I've got my cutter. I've got everything we need. We're into the Seamoth. We're going in. I hit rock straight away. No way on this wreckage. But there is something in here. It's just a container. Wow. Is there anything in here? Power cell. Disinfected water. Is that it? Is that literally all it is, Randy? Well, alright then. Established that there's a lot less, less in here than I thought. Oh, no, I don't want to say the metal salvage, no. I don't want that. So the Cyclops. The Cyclops is in such a weird position. There you are, that's what I want. Because I can't judge how... Like, what, what the hell was going on there. I couldn't judge the um, timing on it. Like, you know, the uh, distance. Power cell, sweet. So I can put that power cell in here. Replace a dead one with a live one. So that's on 22%. Sweet. No, we're good. No, we're good. We're good. That's good. Is it bloody daytime yet? I hate, I hate sailing in the light, in the dark. I'll just start like nighttime, I don't think. Um, looks like daytime approaches. This is where the Aurora is. I proper hopped out the water then. I did that in a freaking Cyclops. Tad happy about that. What's going on in over here then? More supply crates.
We could go have a cheeky wonder. Oh, there's those things there. That's annoying. Oh, those things are so ugly. Empty. Disinfected water. Really? Is that it? So disappointed. There's another one over there in all fairness, so I suppose it's not all bad. Our inventory secured. We are on what we need to be on. Go away. I don't know why I didn't just like, you know, go to that one while I was in it, but you know. Um, shit happens. So we're going to get in our sea moth and we're going to go take a look at that other ship. The other ship part, let's see. If there's anything really. Oh my god, there's three of them. Is there any. any of them? Any containers that can help us? Or is it this one? There's two containers. Right. Nothing in that supply crate. Fantastic. Dis disinfected water again, really? Do I look like I need disinfected water? Really? I like how, like, literally barren it is around here. Like, this hit, and there's no... There's nothing around here. There's nothing on the floor. There's nothing... Oh, Jesus, there it is. <laughs> is that anybody? buddy? Do you actually do anything to me? I'm not... How are they just spawning in front of me? Hey, 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 hey! Get off me! So two have just spawned, like literally, yeah, I see you staring at me. I feel a little bit better now because I know they can't actually hurt me. I'm just dreading actually going into the Aurora. What the fuck was that? So there's stalkers around here, there's reapers around here. The Reaper's literally just sat above. Are you trying to mate with my. Really? Really? You're trying to mate with me? Go away. Stop it. Oh, I'm gonna. Shout. Protecting an extended debris field. What's going on? What's going on? There's another Reaper. That's three. Caution. Passing 
safe depth. Ah, it's on back with Seamoth. Hey, Reaper. There's a wall there. Might want to watch out for the for the wall. Right, so how do I get into the Aurora? Like how how do I physically get aboard? Not that I'm gonna be getting aboard with these bloody Reapers around me, but you know. Okay, so you can't get into the Aurora that way. Can't get into it that way. Where the bloody hell's the entrance? Where am I in it now? Looks like I'm in something, but I don't. There's a wall. Caution. Passing safe depth. Okay, so I can't do anything there. Weird. So we know for a fact there's four Reapers in my world. At least four. Obviously there's going to be more because I haven't spawned them yet because I haven't come this close to the thing before. But since I've now come basically into the Aurora, there's going to be a shed load of them. And just appear. Ah, freaking nowhere. Now I can hear you. Just because I can't see you, don't mean I can't hear you. In fact, I'm coming to meet you now. There's a stalker. Okay, so there's nothing down here because we can't see sh What's around here? I feel as though this is like game complete now because <laughs> we've got the, the Cyclops. To me, that that's the key... Is that Reaper? Um, that's one of the key things. So this is... Is this the ramp that goes into the Aurora? There, there is supposedly like a ramp that you can follow, and as you follow it down, it, it is the entrance to it. Bloody weird dragon things. What I'll do is I'll go up, turn round. Slowly but surely, I will turn round. It's one of those orb things. What are, what are these? We're able to go down to a depth that I've never been before. These things are funky. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, it's them sparkly dudes. It's sparkly dudes. In fact, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I didn't get. Oh, I haven't got. I haven't got a moon pool anymore. And I'm, there's no way in hell I'm making a moon pool down here. Okay, no. More purple stuff, more purple stuff, purple stuff. Don't really know where we're going now. We're literally just going on a massive exploration right now. We're in our mobile base. We're pretty much invincible. I mean, I really have to consider redoing the cells. Um, power cells are getting low. I say they're getting low. I'm I'm into the nearly halfway. So I might head back towards base. Now that, now that I've come up to the Aurora and I know for a fact that the um, Reapers can't hurt us. 
Wow, there are so many sparkly guys. Sparkle dudes. What's going on? How are you doing, sparkle dudes? Beep, 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 beep. That's quite funky. Oh, really? I wonder. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that one is. Looks clear, doesn't it? Really? Bioreactors? Okay, bioreactors can be quite cool, I suppose, so we can work with that. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here on today's episode of uh, Subnautica. We are literally just exploring the sea now. We're trying to find more frags that we haven't got, like that bioreactor. I've got to find two more of those, and then we can work out what the hell that is to build. Hopefully... You know, we'll find them in relatively safe locations where there's not any reapers around because I feel so safe in this but as soon as I leave it and I know that I'm in a place that I'm not safe in, I don't feel comfortable at all. Like nothing at all. I feel as though nothing at all can protect me apart from this cyclops. So I need to make more power cells. I need to get it going with that just for now. But until then, next time on Subnautica. I shall see you then. We'll avoid the big monsters with this, but other than that, we can't really do much more. We'll find the mountain. I think I think this is the island that they were talking about. And if this is the island, might build on there. It could be it could be good to build actually on the island that is surrounded by reapers. It's probably the dumbest decision we'll ever do, but you know, it's, it could be a laugh. Might die. Is this the place? This is the place. This is so the place. Woo, woo, woo. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye for now.